So welcome back guys, it's the Cringy Star here to give you good grades. Like how I've said, these are the master tips and I can almost guarantee you that someone's gonna make a YouTube video on this, stealing my tips and not gonna give me credit and all that craziness, but you know, at least I gave it some good deeds. So tip number one is triaging the question. I've mentioned this in one of the smaller tips, but for you to understand it's that the creators of the UK cat test are those that they will ensure that they inject hard questions within the middle of the easy questions so you get bogged down in the hard questions now this is more evident within the quantitative reasoning section as well as the abstract reasoning question so it's important that you ensure that you go and try to answer the easier questions usually i find it to be within the verbal reasoning section the articles the articles are less wishy-washy and more factual based statistics. So try to quickly skip to those questions. So what I do is to go through and if you see a small body of text, cause you'll be able to see massive differences in text size when you go through the questions. When you initially begin the verbal reasoning section, go through all the questions. But essentially, once you see a very small body of text, attempt that question. The reason why I'm saying that is because there will be less comprehension behind it. So there are many passages on like medieval England and other bodies of history. So I would, when it comes to something like that, if you see it to have small text, try to answer that question. Because once you quickly read the text in which I'll explain the next tip, you'll be able to answer those questions more easy or easier or more easier you can always go back and reattempt the questions you don't have to keep going forward and you're not able to go you are able to go back within the section to so the verbal reasoning section so once you've gone through all 11 questions very quickly you're able to assess which ones should you do which ones shouldn't you do because the last thing you want is to read a body of text and realize that it's too difficult for you to understand you're not understanding anything and then for you to move on to another text so you take my advice because i know many people who've applied for medicine and simply performed bad on the UK cat. The one section that I know some people who are very clever and scored way above 700 on the other sections but scored below 500 in the verbal reasoning section. Verbal reasoning is very difficult, very very difficult and hence why I call it the hardest section and results are on my side as well. Tips two and three, these are the killer tips and honestly they are killer, they are killer tips. Now me being me, I have mild dyslexia and so it was very difficult trying to understand what the text was saying, especially when it was a large body of text. So one thing that I learnt to do is, for example, I will show you on this screen to the right. Let's say the screen was here. The one thing that I would do within this section is to ensure that I place my hands on the screen because many a times I would simply be reading the text and I would just skip lines. So one thing that I would do is I place my hands on here covering roughly around two words and I would read what's in between. Now a section of comprehension will be lost but you will read through the text a lot more faster. So if I was to read through it, it would be roughly are uh, an order of clade of Mesozoic marine reptiles and Karanex line, Sauropodia, Pyrosaurus di uh, first appeared in the late Triassic period. Next line, in the Rhytian stage about 203 million years ago they became. Next line, common during the Jurassic period and had a worldwide oceanic. Next line, new paragraph. Now, me reading that, I can see that, okay, there are two, roughly two different types of dinosaurs. I can see that they appeared roughly 203 million years ago, um, present within the Jurassic period, uh, and had something to do with the ocean. Now obviously I'd be reading that a lot more faster, and that's obviously a small section. It did take me roughly 10 to 15 seconds, I would say, to read that, but if you're able to read the body of text um, available to you within less than a minute, to 45 seconds, you will have a massive advantage when it comes to answering the question. So the question here says, Pyrosaurus with the Pleosaurus built, preyed upon the next Pyrosaurus morph. Now you can see here that there are five paragraphs. And one of the first paragraphs that we read 
we're able to see that we do not have the answer for this question within the first paragraph. So it's also very, very important to know where to look. And now this leads on to the fourth point. Um, not very evident in the example that I gave you was that when I'd place my hands, I would ensure that I follow what I'm reading with my finger. Follow what I'm reading with my finger. Follow what I'm reading with my finger. The reason why I do this is so that I am reading what I think I'm reading and I'm not reading the line below. Do you remember that when you're within this room that the screen is bright, it's a new setup, you're surrounded and you may not feel comfortable reading the way you usually read at home. So it's in your favour, in your best interest that you're able to trace it with your finger because you'll be able to read a paragraph roughly within 10 seconds. There's five paragraphs, 50 seconds. And when you go with your finger, you're able to go through it a lot faster. So that's my fourth tip. Now you may think this really hasn't helped you. But trust me, this will speed up your reading of the text as well as your comprehension of the text. And honestly, had I not been given this tip, I don't know what I would have done. I don't know what score I would have got. So I'm grateful for the YouTube videos that I watched on reading faster. And this was one of the tips that I came across and I thought it works, it works for me and it's worked for some people as well. If you have very minimal time, I have an ebook that is present in the link description and that's my killer, killer, killer tips. Essentially, I explained them in the video but there are some tips in there that I haven't really explained. Basically, catch you guys on the other side. Why is it hard for me? Why is it hard for me? Oh.